<laughs> no! One more time. Hello, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, the foreground is too much. <laughs> ano ba, girl? Kailangan na natin ito tapusin. Hi! One more time! Again! Hi everyone! Welcome back to Nanabelle Reads Poetry, the show where I read you poetry. <laughs> On this episode, we are going to be reading from... The Women Widowed to Themselves by Laura Mathis. I went through a phase like... 10 years ago, like nearly 10 years, like eight, seven years, um, where I was addicted to Tumblr, like just scrolling, scrolling. Now it's like, now I'm addicted to TikTok, but, but like then it was like Tumblr, Tumblr was everything. So at that time I got into Tumblr poets and um, small presses like Words Dance and Where Are You Press? And I was just like, it was my jam. This book was published by Where Are You Press, which was Clementine Von Raddick's um, press at the time, I believe. Um, I don't know if she's still doing that. Is she still doing that? Also, are like people still on Tumblr? I haven't been on Tumblr. Have we all migrated to Twitter and Instagram and TikTok? Like, let me know. Like, cause if you're if y'all are still hanging out in Tumblr, like I. Am I still welcome? Can I can I hang out there again? Cause like I miss it. <sighs> anyway, we're going to be reading two poems from this book. The first poem that we're going to be reading is the first poem on this book. It is a guide. How I want you to read this book. As a prayer, as a wish, as a secret, as a nibbling on the ear, as a note passing between sweaty sixth grade hands, as a fogging window, as thunderclap, as comfort, as communion, as command, as you want to, as you need to. I like that. I like, so I'm, I'm the type of person who likes to absorb full books of poetry as opposed to like, a collection of other people's poems or um, just one poem. Like, I still do enjoy poems by itself, but I like absorbing collections. So I like that and that intro because it just kind of eases me into the book. <sighs> Too much explanation. Let's read the second poem. This next poem that we'll be reading is called I Sing the Song of Myself. Bleeding poetry and thinking. Nothing of the consequences. I let want speak to me in a steady breath and listen to it openly. I am with Whitman, singing the song of myself until the notes are memorized. I group whatever pieces of themselves others give me into something I call me. Every day I am relearning the tune of myself. Memory says, you have done this dance so many times before, and I respond. I will do this dance inside as many different cities, bodies, and seasons as I can. I am not looking to be narrow in mind, experience, or belief, nor contained in girl, sister, ex, lover, woman, or friend, I will die a verb, a force, a thing that has bled out so many names that no noun can hold it. Thank you very much for watching. That was how I want you to read this book and I sing the song of myself by Laura Mathis from her book, The Women Widowed to Themselves. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Mwah, 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 mwah.